Hi everybody, so this is going to be the very first video in my mobile home makeover series. I will be showing you how I went from this kitchen into this kitchen using mainly peel and stick items. So if you'd like to see how I did that, please keep watching. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to be doing is taking off all the cabinet knobs and after this I will show you how I prep the new knobs. So here are the knobs I'm going to be adding to the kitchen. I bought them in a natural unfinished wood and I will be spray painting them a matte black. And to do that, I'm going to be using this Krylon spray paint. It's a paint and primer one in matte black. Now I'm going to leave those to dry overnight. Meanwhile, I'm going to go ahead and take out all the outlet covers as well as clean the walls. I'm going to be using some degreaser. I'm going to be cleaning the walls with that and plus the vent hood cover over the oven, whatever that's called. <laughs> This is the chrome wallpaper that I purchased off Amazon. I'll be using it for the vent hood cover plus the backsplash behind the stove. Here's the peel and stick tile that I also bought off Amazon. Everything that I use, if I could find the link, I will link it down below, but this will be used for the backsplash all over the kitchen. 
And here is how everything looks after I applied the Peel and Stick Backsplashes, the chrome backsplash right there, and the rest is the Peel and Stick Tile. Here are the outlet covers I also bought from Amazon. I also bought it in an unfinished wood. If you have already have the materials on hand like paint or stain, it's always cheaper to go with the unfinished wood. I'll be using this dark walnut stain from Rust-Oleum as well as I'm going to be staining these half dowels. Now for staining, I do recommend wearing gloves. I just couldn't find my gloves at the time so I just stained with my bare hands. It did take a little longer to get off, but it was okay. So with gel stain, you're going to want to rub it in opposed to just streaking it on with a brush because if not, you'll just leave little blotchy marks. So this is just an old rag, well, old piece of clothing actually, and I'm just rubbing the stain into the wood. Now usually I would seal with a polycrylic, um, but I didn't have that at the time. All I had was Mod Podge and I, I had seen some people seal their furniture with Mod Podge, so I figured since these wouldn't be touched very often, Mod Podge would be just fine. And plus this was, I did this makeover at the beginning of our quarantine, so I wasn't going to run out to the stores just for some polycrylic. Now for the countertops, I am going to be using contact paper, so another peel and stick item. I just got this from Walmart. And before I apply the contact paper, I will be degreasing and wiping off the countertops. This was the very first time I ever applied contact paper to anything, so I I didn't know how to take the bubbles out, but I tried my best. Um, with this first piece, there were quite a bit of bubbles by the end of it, but I wasn't too concerned since the microwave was going to go over this part anyways, but I did learn to go in smaller pieces throughout the all the rest of the other countertops, and they worked out pretty good. I did try to take out the bubbles with a stir stick just because I thought it would cover more area but honestly I would recommend just using some sort of card I used the Sam's Club card and that worked a lot better Here 
how the countertops turned out. Those half dowels I stained in the beginning were used right there to separate the peel and stick tile and the chrome wallpaper. And also, these are how my outlet covers turned out. I love the scene on the outlet covers. Next, I will be tackling these bottom drawers and cabinets. I'll be taking the hardware out as well as cleaning the cabinets with degreaser again and then I will prime them and start painting. Oh, and please don't judge none of my messy outfits <laughs> during this whole video. I'm either in sweats or pajamas since this whole quarantine thing happened. It's basically my uniform. It's what I, it's like I said, I'm in sweats or pajamas, messy hair, and no makeup. Is anyone else the same or just me? I did go over this twice with primer and then I went over these cabinets three times with a satin paint color.
now here is the final result i love how it turned out um the last thing i did was just put these pull these black pull handles i also got off amazon on those drawers and i was done if you like content like this i have many more mobile home makeovers coming up so i hope you consider subscribing and like if you like this video thank you so much for watching and i hope to see you on the next one bye